Hello students, today we are going to discuss J main questions of most easiest chapter, Electromagnetic Wave. It's a very simple and small chapter, so we can score it very easily. And these are number of questions they asked in January paper, that is attempt 1. So we'll see the questions now. We'll see the first question, a plane electromagnetic wave propagating in x direction is described by. So they have given the equation for electric field, that is Ey is equal to E0 sin omega t minus kx. So they have given the function of sine and they are asking intensity of wave. So to find the intensity of wave formula I is equal to epsilon naught E RMS square into C where C is velocity of light in air. So E RMS we can expand E RMS. So E RMS is equal to E naught by root 2. So we can substitute in this formula. So intensity I is equal to epsilon naught. In the place of E RMS we can substitute E naught square by root 2 square is 2. So, 1 by 2 into C. Okay. So, this is the formula for intensity with respect to E0 that is peak value of electric peak. So, now we will substitute the values that is I is equal to 1 by 2. Epsilon is a constant which is 8.85 into 10 power minus 12 and E0 is a maximum value which is 200. So, 200 into 200 and C is velocity of flight which is 3 into 10 power 8. Now we will do the calculation. So here it will be 1 and 100. So balance 8.85 into 2 into 3 is 6. So we can write it as I is equal to 8.85 into 2 3 is 6 into 10 power minus 12. And here we have 4 zeros. So plus 4 and here you have plus 8. So plus 8. So 4 plus 8 is 12. So all this term will get cancelled. Balance 8.85 into 6 which is 53.10 and intensity I is 53.1 watt per meter square. So, we will check the option. Option 2 is the right answer. Next question. An object is placed in a medium of refract index 3. An electromagnetic wave of intensity 6 into 10 power 8 watt per meter square falls normally on the object and it is completely absorbed. The radiation pressure on the object would be. So, they are asking radiation pressure. It's a rare question and also we have the formula for the radiation pressure also. So, radiation pressure P is equal to intensity I mu. Mu is a refractive index by C where C is velocity of light in air. So, that is equal to intensity value 6 into 10 power 8 and refractive index is 3 by velocity of light is 3 into 10 power 8. So, 3, 3 will get cancelled. 10 power 8, 10 power 8 will get cancelled. So, balance 6 Newton meter power minus 2. So, option 3 is the right answer. So, next we will see 29 January shift 2 question. A plane electromagnetic wave of frequency 35 megahertz traveling in free space along x direction. At a particular point, E is equal to 9.6 J vector volt per meter. The value of the magnetic field is. First, we have to find the direction of the magnetic field. So, they have given the wave is propagating in x direction, okay, that is x axis, fine. And they have given the electric field in the form of j vector, which represents the y direction. The electric field is along y direction. So, the magnetic field along will be z direction, that is k vector. So, k vector means it will be option 1 or 4. So, option 3 and 2 is neglected. Now, we will find the value of magnetic field. So, it is in a free space, which is in vacuum or air. So, velocity of light we can take it as C. So, C is equal to E by B. We have to find B. So, we will reform the equation. So, B is equal to E by C where E is 9.6 and C is velocity of light. So, which is 3 into 10 power 8. So, this will be 1 and this will be 3.2. So, 10 power plus 8 will go to the numerator. So, which will be minus 8. So, 3.2 into 10 power minus 8. It's in a z axis which represents k vector. So, k cap. So, this is the value for the magnetic field. Option 1 is the right answer. Next one, it's the same pattern. In previous problem, we found the value for the magnetic field. But in this problem, we will find the equation for the magnetic field. So, the question, the electric field of an electromagnetic wave in free space. So, they have given the equation for the electric field. We have to find the corresponding magnetic induction which is magnetic field. First, we will check the equation which is E is equal to E0 cos omega t minus kx. So, minus z axis. So, minus z axis represent 
the wave is traveling in a positive z axis is it okay so the wave is traveling in a positive z axis and electric field is represented by i vector so the electric field is traveling in a x axis which is i vector okay so the magnetic field will be along y axis which is j vector okay so first we will find the value for the magnetic field we know c is equal to e not by b not so we can reform this equation which is b not is equal to e not by c so with respect to this data we will write the equation which is b vector is equal to in the place of b not we can substitute this one which is e not by c and the function is cos so cos omega t minus kz and magnetic field is along the y direction which represents j vector okay so we'll check the option b is equal to e naught by c cos omega t minus kz j vector option 2 is the right answer next one 31st january shift 1 question so again in a plane electromagnetic wave so they have given the value for frequency and maximum electric field which is e naught and they are asking the total average energy density of a electromagnetic field so total average density u is equal to energy density of the electric field plus energy density of the magnetic field but the thing is they have given the value only for the electric field which is e naught they didn't give the re any representation for the magnetic field but we know the energy density of the electric field and the energy density of the magnetic field are equal so we can write it as ue plus ue which is two times the energy density of the electric field so now we will substitute the formula so u is equal to 2 into 1 by 2 epsilon naught e rms square or we can write it as e naught square by 2 so 2 2 will get cancelled balance u is equal to 1 by 2 epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 power minus 12 into e naught is amplitude of electric field which is 50 so we can substitute as 50 into 50 okay so which is 1 and 4.5 4 to 5 okay so u is equal to 4.425 into 25 into 10 power minus 12 and plus 2 so if you calculate it means u will be 1.106 into 10 power minus 8 so the answer is option 1 is the right answer next is a theory question statement 1 electromagnetic wave carry energy as they travel through space and its energy is equally shared by electric and magnetic field so this statement is true so it's a function how the electromagnetic wave propagate in the free space as well as in the medium so first statement is right and coming to the second statement when electromagnetic wave strike a surface a pressure is external on the surface this is also a right statement whenever the electromagnetic wave strike the surface there will be a transfer of momentum because of that there will be a uh, extent of pressure and the force on the surface so second statement is also right so both the statement 1 and 2 are correct so we check the option option 2 is the right answer last question if frequency of electromagnetic wave is 60 megahertz and it travels in air along z direction then corresponding electric and magnetic field vector will be mutually perpendicular to each other and the wavelength of wave is so we have to find the wavelength of wave and the wave is traveling in air medium so we can take velocity of wave v is equal to c so we know the formula v is equal to f lambda to find the wavelength in the place of v we can substitute c so lambda is equal to c by f so we substitute the given data lambda is equal to in the place of c 3 into 10 power 8 by frequency 60 mega mega means 10 power 6 that is equal to this will be 1 and 20 so 1 by 2 into 10 power 8 so if you are adding the 0 to this term means it will be 10 power 7 if it is going to the numerator means it will become minus 7 so 8 minus 7 is 1 which is 10 by 2 that is equal to lambda is equal to 5 meter so option 3 is the right answer Okay, students, we came to end of the session. If you have any doubts or queries regarding this video, please drop it in the comment box. And also to watch more video like this, don't forget to subscribe our channel.
and also if you have any queries regarding competitive exams like NEET, JE, we have Instagram page and also group in a Telegram. Try to join in the group so we will explore more regarding the competitive examination. Thank you students.